Okay. So, uh, namaste, I'm Daryl. Uh, a few of my friends have been asking me to put together a video or a couple videos, and uh, I haven't really been able to get around to a camera or a computer for that matter, but here we are, and it's working out. Um, I'm going to begin with just a few tips towards uh, towards uh, beginnings. I mean, in in my beginnings, and then some other people's. I don't know. Everybody has their own path, but you might get overloaded with like prophecy and what's happening and uh, like the logics of what's really like you know down to the bone. What's up? Uh, to be honest, it's all very, very good and very knowledgeable to draw from. This makes your manifestations richer. Uh, this makes your your imagination richer. These are your manifestations, uh, your creations. Um, however, you you don't need to know everything. That's something that took me a while to understand. You, uh, you essentially create what your reality is. You take into what, you take into your perception exactly what you want. Everything is up to you. Whenever you hop on the internet and you look up uh, NWO, Denver Airport, and all this shit, that's because you want to look at it. It's not because somebody else put it there and it's some big deal. It's because you looked for it. It wouldn't have been there unless you looked for it in the first place, right? Uh, these things pop out at you. Well, you don't have to pay attention to everything. You know, you're paying attention there for a reason. If you're conscious of that reason or not, because you expected it. I mean, anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, nonsense talking. I ramble a lot, I, uh, I'll keep going and forget what I'm talking about, so uh, bear with me, I'll try. Um, I want to start with the importance of circulation. Uh, it is very important that during this you, you are getting like your stretches, you know, you need to get exercise. First of all, you need to get exercise, you need to get outside, you need to sweat because those are toxins in your body that you're sweating out. Uh, I mean, and it just feels awesome to sweat and get healthy, like, think of what you're doing to your body. Uh, yeah, circulation. You, if you don't know by now, you have an energy body. If you haven't looked up chakras, you need to look up chakras. Enough people have talked about it all through history. Go look it up. Uh, however, uh, circulation, haha, <laughs> circulation, uh, you have an energy body, now, constantly are you interacting with other energy bodies and colliding with other bubbles that are around you, and as you collide with these bubbles, you are becoming a bigger bubble, now, uh, depending on how strong you are, how how much you how much influence you hold uh, depending on how strong your resolve is and how well you are able to maintain your vibration this will determine what the uh, what the overall of that sphere will become you know you know do your yoga or whatever whatever you want to do yoga spirits you know uh, that I've learned this I mean I'm, I'm sure I've seen this a million times, but, uh, I, I saw Ryan do that, and then shut up, what am I talking about? Uh, but yeah, that's, it's, it's all about opening up, like, even just, like, rotating your spine, you can, it, it's all about unlocking yourself, because in everyday society, you're going to, uh, you're going to uh, stiffen and focus on, on repeated actions and shit, you know, like you're going to get stuck. You have to learn how to get stuck and then to get unstuck, because that is what you're doing all the time. I mean, you have your drifters or whatever. Uh, 
really turn it down. Alright. Energy bodies and manifesting. No. It, the more that you the more that you stretch, the more that you stretch out, the faster you'll be able to, to push out in in a, another situation, you know, that is just essentially a stretch. You know, this is just to help you. This is just to unlock you some more so that you may get this flow, you know, like this, your energy core, if you have your mind, you know, like, uh, this information comes from somewhere, you know, uh, it's just me suit, you know, like, this is a remote, a remote computer, you know, this, <laughs> this is, uh, this is like, I'm, okay, I am a computer, and I'm on the internet, and all I'm doing right now, this mouth, I'm streaming you some audio, you know? Uh, the breath, uh, you need to, you need to stay aware of your breath. It's very hard to do sometimes because in this society, in this, in this game that we are leaving now, we haven't stopped to smell the roses. We've moved and moved and moved. And we never sit down to relax anymore. So we forget how to breathe. But you can do it while you're running, you can do it while you're walking. You can do it while you're driving. Just don't get too high from it when you're driving. <laughs> Cause, uh, I, whatever, do what you do. Uh, art of stillness. Uh, this is in regards to meditation. You know, uh, because I'm talking, whenever I talk about breath, stillness, uh, uh, oh yeah, with breath, I didn't, I didn't mention this. Uh, there, there are different techniques that you'll find all over the place. People will tell you different things, different visualizations and things you can do. Uh, a few of the ones that I started out with whenever I was first waking up and you know realizing that everything that I've been imagining my entire life is not just my imagination. I mean, it is just my imagination, but what isn't just my imagination? You know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, one, one thing that I first started doing, I always think of Uncle from, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures, for some reason, but, uh, you know, just chilling out, and, uh, seeing, seeing all of the air around you is pretty much like oil, you know, it's pretty much just like oil, it's like, not that color, but it's pretty much just like oil. It's like a, a, a scarlet reddish color, and uh, you take this, you take this smoke. It's like a the smog, you know, like a smoke machine smog. Not a real smoke. It's a thicker smoke than that, a uh, heavier smoke. But uh, you take the smog, you breathe it in through your nose and out through your mouth. Exhale a sort of, uh, sort of blue, blue smoke, you know, uh, I'd imagine it more of like a wizard's blue, if you know what color that is, uh, but, uh, there you go, yeah, dude, that kind of blue, but, uh, yeah, pretty much, but you can infuse that with several colors at a time is what people don't notice, because, Sometimes a, a little too much of one thing isn't so good, you know, uh, it can affect things negatively to just use one type of energy, you know, you want to balance out. Um, but, uh, that was one thing I started doing, another thing with breath, like, uh, kundalini breath, I don't know what the name for this is, but, uh, it's just like, you relax your your abdomen and uh <clears throat> you're gonna breathe through your nose and uh like just pull back your abs <laughs> as fast as you can you know like it'll it will demand your lungs to open up and pull this air in quickly you know this the the speed speed like rushing water it's it's like like flowing air it's energy you know 
so the faster like you'll feel it you'll start to get hot you'll start to to uh, you know uh, tingle uh, sometimes you might just feel like you're not in this <laughs> you know you, you won't feel this at all you'll just feel like you've stepped back and during meditation it's very important that you remain still this is because with movement you are focusing on like you're moving this body so you're focusing on the movement of this 3d body through 3d space and 4d space whatever uh, while you should be focusing on the movement of this body up here going somewhere else outside of these lower dimensions um, so yeah wall movement uh, your eyes being open depending on what kind of meditation you're doing you could be out sun gazing and sitting by a beautiful waterfall where it sounds beautiful and uh, smells are great there's some squirrels over there you know perfect temperature but uh you could you could be out in a place like that where you want to look around and you can do that just just relax because if you step back and like look at everything at the same time sometimes it, something will reveal itself to you just in the altogether picture of everything because that's what what life really is about you have to step back and look at everything together like it's not one way or another it's not all right, intent and the power of intent. Um, intent is pretty much just like you need to 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 understand your power, your creative power. That is exactly what you are and what you ha have. Just use that sheer mind power to get what you need, or what others may need. You know, um, it's really all just about you seeing it, you believing it, and you being it because because like. Nobody else has to back you up, you know. Uh, I can tell all of you in the world that I'm the most awesome. All right, uh, you have a field around you, and it is very vital that you learn how to push this field out, because, like, I think of it like my mind is a glass house, and as I pass others in the street, I <coughs> I'm looking out of my walls, and and uh, onto theirs or into theirs, and uh, <clears throat> and I'm mistaking what's happening inside of their house for what's happening inside of my house because I'm not noticing these walls here, and uh, I guess that, that is a good thing because you're getting back to to being together, you know. Uh, but at the same time, you have to get stability in your own mind. So you need to learn how to get this field and push it out. Um, a very, very good visualization for this is, like, whenever I first started, I still do it, what am I talking about? Like, I'll think of a pink-purplish bubble coming out now a lot, but uh, before I would see from my solar plexus, I would focus, you need to drop your awareness down into your belly so that you are looking out of your belly and you need to uh, you need to focus on the smallest point where that, that chakra point is that energy point is and you need to uh, you need to zoom out like see a little bead of light See a little bead of light, that's creepy, huh? See a little bead of light, whatever color light you want that to be. Check out your chakras and you learn these vibrations, man. These vibrations are important. But uh, see that little bead of light and zoom out. And as you zoom out, grow this bead of light into a ball of light, into a boulder of light, into, you know, what the fuck ever. You know, you get the point, big ass snowball of light. You know, keep zooming out and keep making this grow. The bigger that you can make this grow out and the brighter that you can make this light, the um, it will it will train your 
your visualizations become more powerful. And I know this because, uh, to my understanding, uh, you know, the the uh, powerful visualization, powerful creation, using your imagination a lot, is what releases you know the DMT in your brain. This is what triggers your dreams. This is what triggers your imaginative mind. Um, so it is very, very vital that you use your your imagination to its fullest capacity. Don't limit yourself ever. Uh, people will tell you, you know, live in the present and look at what's around you at all times. Don't try and daydream too much. Well, you know what? You're a multi-dimensional being, okay? So you're going to live a lot of places at one time. Whenever you're thinking in your head and you go somewhere else in your head and you're still sitting here, you know, like, big deal. You're, you're going there. Like, don't stay here just because people are telling you that it's good for you. You can learn things everywhere. You can learn a lot here, but you can learn things everywhere. And things wouldn't be placed into your thoughts if you didn't want yourself to see them. Um... vibration everything is vibration this is colors these are shapes this is sound taste smell feeling intuition pretty much every sense that you have is based off of vibration everything is vibration because I mean vibration is how you, is what you are using to perceive things mm, no I guess in a sense uh you know Roy G Biv red orange yellow green blue and go violet the re mi fa so la ti uh, triangle square pentagon hexagon you know um it's it's all it's all just reflections it's all just different ways of express expressing the same message you know it's like it's like uh, whenever you you go see a movie or you read a book or okay it's like movie reviews it's like book reviews you know a lot of people read the books and then they'll post their reviews about them and uh it's all the same story but it's all just different interpretations of that story and what it it gave off to that person like at that point you know uh all right guys well um I'm about to get off of here because I've been ranting for quite a bit. I hope to make some more videos for you guys pretty soon. Um, I'd like to organize my thoughts a little better. And I just made this one because I know that I need to get my face up here and say hello. Um, I love you all to a great deal. To a great deal. you all the best, and uh, I really don't want any of you to become enslaved by what others tell you. Always live for what you want. Oh, don't ever say, but wait, don't always, don't ever catch yourself and say, I gotta, I gotta, like, go, you know. People are going to impose their thoughts on you all the time, and it's up to you to, to take from these thoughts. And not to reject them all and say, I know everything, but to take from them what matters, what matters to you. You know, what matters to everybody else. Like, if somebody tells you a story, they might be focusing on one part of the story, and that might be what they needed you to know. But at the beginning of the story was for you. You know, like, you need to, everything that you read and everything that you hear, you need to look back and see how it applies to you because this is just all coming from all of our perspectives and and uh, it's really us putting our perspectives out there so that you may compare them to our own or accelerate your own through things that we have used ourselves you know like not I know not everyone can can visualize things easily I know not everybody can just accept something easily like as 
as uh, fathomable, you know? You, you, you have to learn, you have to learn that it is all about you, but that you are everything. You know, you're a reflection of everything, and everything is, is doing the same shit. We're all doing the same shit. Don't get deceived. We're all doing the same shit. No matter what anybody tells you, consciously or subconsciously, we're all awake, we're all waking up. Things are happening. And, uh, yeah. Shit's coming together pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, take care, guys. Once again, I'm Daryl.